Hey everyone, Logan Edix here, and this is System Test 70 featuring Simplex True Alerts. <laughs> Starting over here, we have a Simplex 4903 9428, and we have the Simplex 2099 9756. And here we have another white true alert 4903 9428. This one's also fixed 15 candela. And we have the Simplex 2099 9754, and the SD300 modules. Now, I did, I added some more conduit in here because it looks nicer. So up here, we have a bend, and what's that, a module? I added a pull station. This is a Simplex 2099-9139 weatherproof T-bar. Uh, it's just a rebranded SIGCOM. I don't know what brand hasn't rebranded SIGCOM T-bars. And we have a 4903-9418, I believe. This is a quick alert, as you can see. And I also taped the horn a little bit because it's just way too loud for this garage. And this strobe is also 75 candela. Also, the reason why this is like down a little bit is because I tried to get this close to ADA height, but I did a crappy job measuring and it's still too high by like an inch. But I think it looks pretty cool being a bit lower because I think it's ridiculous if it's up here and I'm not moving this lower. I originally wanted to move it upwards, but I didn't want to keep putting more holes in the concrete. So yeah, if you guys don't like this uh, thing, then you can cry about it. The system will be using Smart Sync because I have the 4009, but I want to mention that it's a bit slow to sync up the horns. So for like the first, in my experience, from like the first five to 30 seconds, sometimes the horns can be a bit funky, but here we go. Three, two, one. And now the strobe shut off, but they're back. So you can see it did have some weird behavior. Now the panel isn't feeding the booster a coded signal. It's just continuous. So this is all the 4009 doing this. You can hear every four seconds or so it clicks. That's sending the strobe sync signal. You can see we do have sync. And sometimes they stop. Let's do the T bar. Three, two, one. Let's get to 2099.
Let's see if we can beat the panel. I mean, I hope so, because it only takes like 30 seconds to reset, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Okay, so I actually didn't think that it would alarm again right when it starts initializing. So let's reset that again. Interesting, that's like the first time it's ever done that. I've reset it so many times with devices still an alarm. Are you serious? Alrighty guys, so starting February 1st, I will only be uploading system tests on the first Saturday of every month. I've gotten significantly busier and I just simply don't have time anymore to make two system tests a month. So it'll be one and I'll still make some other content in between because I have time for small videos and stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.